Okay, so let's get started with building our first short code. First thing I'm going to do is switch over to my text editor. And to start using short codes, you have to uh, use what's called a handler function. Uh, now, in WordPress, a handler function is a uh, function that takes in a few parameters and then it returns a result. Uh, in this case, for our short code, uh, the handler that we want to be using is called add short code. Um, you can see here it takes in two parameters, uh, the first one being the tag or the name of the short code, and then the second one is the function, uh, the callback function. I should say it actually uh, creates the short code uh, content. So I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of that. And um, before I get started, I'm going to just create a quick comment block just above it and the short code uh, we're going to be creating is just a simple button short code a bootstrap button Oops. and uh, what this short code does is it um, creates a bootstrap button that simple nothing too complicated yet um, like I said, you need a handler, or um, excuse me, a, fall, a, a callback function to be passed through this handler. So the function we're going to create is called function, um, how about button shortcode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to return a bootstrap button. So. I already have the CSS needed uh, for these buttons because I'm using the Easy Dev Toots uh, theme. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, um, you should go do that. Otherwise, this button's not going to look right. You can download it from my website at easydevtoots.com and um, follow along the video. Um, you don't necessarily have to write this. This isn't going to be a part of the, the final result, which is the accordion plugin. Um, but this is just to kind of give you a brief overview of what exactly the short code is and how to set one up. So the short code isn't exactly complete yet. Before we finish, we need to define what these two parameters are. Uh, again, the first one tag is the actual um, tag of the short code. It's going to be going between the square brackets. And uh, ours is going to be called BTN. And you want to leave out the square brackets, uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. And then our callback function, which is just uh, button underscore shortcode, is going to be pasted in here uh, inside single quotes. So once you have this set up, you can hit save. And what I'll do now is I'll switch back over to my browser, and I'm going to hit back once and edit this page and I'll go ahead and delete this gallery because I don't, I don't need it and I'm going to add in my newly created button shortcode uh, it's just going to be square brackets with the lowercase letters BTN I'm going to update it and view my page and there you go what you have here is a bootstrap button and it was made with our simple little shortcode now in my next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add attributes to your short code. So let's say we wanted to change the text. And we probably should make it that way because who wants just a button that says default? Also, there are several variations of buttons that you can use with Bootstrap. Some of them are like red and blue and orange. So uh, we'll add another attribute to allow you to choose the color. And um, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video.